Hello everyone, welcome back to the Light of Heaven channel. May God pour countless graces and blessings upon you. When Pope Benedict XVI visited the Vatican, he confided in a parent about a serious issue. He predicted that large-scale forest fires could occur in seven states of the United States in the near future. In those places, he encouraged everyone to prepare and pay attention. He believed that to prevent significant damage that these fires could cause, it is mandatory to prepare in advance. Please take a moment to share this video and subscribe to this channel for more views. We hope you will enjoy the video and subscribe to this YouTube channel to stay updated with the latest information. Let's accompany us and listen to this video until the last moment. Type Amen if you believe, God always blesses you. Before discussing today's message, let's pray, a heartfelt prayer to God the Father. O oh God Almighty, in the name of Jesus Christ, your beloved Son whom you sacrificed to save us, your miserable children, from the hellfire, hear our prayer. We offer you our humble sacrifices. We accept challenges and suffering as a means to bring redemption to souls in the time of warning. We earnestly implore your forgiveness for sinners who feel it difficult to return and accept your divine mercy to offer the necessary sacrifices and repent before you. Amen. Pope Benedict issued a warning to seven states in the United States, predicting an imminent and catastrophic outbreak of large-scale fires in these specific regions of the country. Now I will convey this message to each of you, my beloved children. I must inform you about this creation. Humanity will need to be prepared for many shocking changes as this becomes a reality on the planet. Countless evil things are being sent to the earth by demons. A strong tornado and an unprecedented storm in this region of the United States will accompany the Great Tribulation. A sense of fear pervades the tranquil coastal town of Santa Cruz, California, nestled between the Pacific Ocean and the Redwood Forests. The neighborhood is filled with rumors of a horrific prophecy, causing local residents to be both curious and fearful. The mood in Santa Cruz becomes increasingly positive as weeks go by. People start to question whether the prophecy is meaningful or just a story to arouse concern and worry. To explain it, spiritual leaders of the town, including wise old Baba Yara, gather together. Moreover, a really big fire is expected to occur simultaneously in several states. Some states that may be affected include Florida, Michigan, Massachusetts, Texas, and Ohio. All these places could experience this large fire at the same time, posing a serious danger to people and property. This is an extremely dangerous issue, and the related states must prepare and cooperate to manage this major disaster and try to minimize its impact on affected people. As the appointed day approaches, the atmosphere will be filled with a mix of anxiety and excitement. Instead of rain clouds, the sky will become dark with ominous signs. But as time passes, a strange tranquility will envelop the five states. Never before has there been a forest fire like the fires that will ravage Florida, Michigan, Massachusetts, Texas, and Ohio. Flames will dance through Florida's lush greenery, devouring forests and advancing into residential areas relentlessly. The scene of once vibrant landscapes will appear strange due to the scorching heat and billowing smoke. Michigan, known for its serene lakes and pristine forests, will be helpless against an unforgiving blaze. The quiet forests once filled with birdsong will be destroyed by the fiery chaos, with flames licking at the edges of towns and leaving a trail of devastation behind. Historic landmarks and bustling streets in Massachusetts will turn into battlegrounds as the fire spreads to towns and cities. Once thriving communities will become charred ruins as vibrant neighborhoods are forced to evacuate quickly. The vast expanse of Texas will become the scene of an unending inferno that ravages the state's landscapes. The usually resilient terrain will struggle against the relentless power of the flames, testing the determination of local residents who will bravely fight to protect their homes and livelihoods. My children lose their faith at the smallest thing they dislike to hear or read, but anything that promotes spiritual independence makes them feel valued. They cannot see the importance of events in relation to the plans this mother has previously outlined because they are too obedient to demons. The reason why my son's church is shrinking will be clear only to those who have a vision for the future. You have my love, 
blessings, and eternal protection. Exodus 3 verse 2 in the book of Exodus, there the angel of the Lord appeared to him in flames of fire from within a bush. Moses saw that the bush was on fire but did not burn up. This is often seen as the occasion when God revealed his will to Moses and gave him the authority to lead the Israelites out of Egypt. The burning bush symbolizes divine goodness and the presence of God. The bush burned but did not burn up, this is a miraculous sign showing the greatness of God's power and presence. This chapter conveys a strong message about the transcendent nature of God and his ability to manifest in extraordinary and miraculous ways. It serves as a reminder of the sacred mysteries and illustrates how God's presence can be seen in both ordinary and extraordinary things. Now let's join in prayer, O God, the true shepherd of all the faithful, have mercy on your servant, Pope Benedict XVI, whom you have appointed as the head and shepherd of your church. We thank you for your grace working in him as he has led us through his words and examples in teaching, in prayer, and in great love. We appreciate that you have stayed until the end of our video, our brave and faith-filled brothers and sisters. Let us hold fast to faith, gratitude, and unceasing prayer for God to continue pouring out his blessings and graces upon us. May God protect and bless us. Amen. Thank you for watching to the end of the video. What do you think about today's topic? Leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, press the bell button next to it to receive notifications when there are new videos. In conclusion, I wish you all a day full of positive energy. May God protect you. Amen.